This course will make use of several data sets. Now, it's much easier to download and open the data sets than it is to actually type the numbers in yourself. These are available through the publisher of the textbook. Underneath the Week 1 tab, when we look at our reading and SPSS assignment, you'll find the link for this data. I'm going to go ahead and copy that and enter it into my browser window. This is going to bring me to the publisher's website for our textbook. Now it does want you to choose the region of the country you're in, North America, and it gives us a lot of information about the text. What you are interested in is student resources, and then going to data sets and documentation. We want to download the data sets. So I'm going to click on the data sets, and that's going to start the download. Now each individual browser and or operating system sends your downloads to a different location. So it is important you know your individual system. When you download something, where does it go? In my case, the downloads go right up here. So I will go ahead and click on my downloaded area and open the data sets file. This contains all of the data sets used in the textbook, some of which are used in your assignments, some of which are not, depending on the actual week. But if you're reading in the text and you want to see where the numbers come from or try some sample problems, these data sets correspond to the exercises in the back of your book. We are going to make use of these all term long. So I'm going to go ahead and save this folder somewhere useful where I can find it. So I'm going to send it to a new folder and I'm going to save it in my um, documents area. Now you may choose where to save this. You can choose to save this in your desktop, in a special folder in your um, documents area. I have a folder specifically for this class. Wherever you decide to put it, be sure that it is easy to find because we're going to use it for the next seven weeks.